Welcome to this new video about the progress in my art journal. And as you know, we've been to Scandinavia and we decided to go back to France because we really love it here. I'm in France right now in the area of the Corrèze and uh, it's a wonderful place and we were um, house sitting uh, at a friend's home with eight lovely cats and I will show you more about that when we are uh, on our other YouTube channel Brave Art Journey but for now I'm just talking about the pages of my art journal when we decided to go back I had to make uh, some pages for in a journal from a friend and we were driving and driving and driving all week long because we had to cross uh, the distance between uh, Sweden and the Netherlands. We had some appointments with Anthony's children um, and with some family. We had to bring some stuff home uh, and there wasn't much time to sit and paint. So what I decided to do was painting in the car. So the pages that you've already seen in the previous video I made in the car and it was really an insight for me that I could work in a car because most of the time since I was I think around 10 years old I've been car sick but it's just when I'm reading uh, or looking at my telephone or doing something that's coming out of myself when it's coming from within um, then I can work and that was really a great thing to discover so this is a page that I made fully on the road and these is uh, these are impressions from wildflowers that we've seen in uh, Netherlands we, uh, where we the place where we met the children it was an organic farm with cows, with uh, lovely cats, with goats, chickens. So it was a wonderful place and they planted wild seeds, white wildflower seeds all over the place. So it was a good thing for me because I missed flowers when we were in Sweden. There weren't that many. And these were some things that I made in um, Luxembourg because when we were in the Netherlands we haven't met my parents yet because they were still in Germany and we thought it would be nice to meet them and we chose a place somewhere in the middle and that was Luxembourg my parents are also having a, a camper so these are all things I gathered there and this is also things that I gathered here and I really made some foldings. This is a very weird language. It's a crossover between French and German and um, maybe even Dutch. I don't know. It was a very weird language. It was a, a package of bread. Uh, also, I bought a lovely trouser that I'm wearing right now. And um, this lovely card was hanging uh, this label was uh, on uh, with the trousers so I used this old leaf uh, for a template and made it all the way leaves and tried some different techniques like patterns like painting like uh, drawing a leaf using the filter of uh, coffee so it was a very nice thing to do just working with craft and pink all kind of pinks and this was the one i started with working when we were uh, on this play, uh, place lagan uh, in the Corrèze. so finally in france i did some other paint work before and you can see that in the back i made some landscapes of the french uh, grain fields that we visited before so that's not in my art journal but it's on the paintings in the back and here well i just got into this color palette which was completely new for me and what's also new is that there was something starting a kind of a story and it's about this woman and i will show you my process because well suddenly there were people coming back in my art journal 
This was an old jelly print. Uh, this was a pattern that I already made before. So these pages are all about pink, blue, and well, green. Also, I put another poem here. And this is suddenly a different color palette. Again, wildflowers, marguerites, and a butterfly. Well, you can see this page isn't finished yet. This is, are the foxgloves. This page isn't finished as well, but I really, well, I really wanted to, uh, to draw them, paint them, and I was working on it. And then suddenly it was time to make dinner and it was getting dark and the next day it was raining. So sometimes I I'm in the mood for finishing pages that are not completed. And then I do it all at once. And when I see something, I glue it down uh, at the moment when I find it. So when I'm working with these colors again, I'm thinking, oh, it can maybe be here or another page. And I'm working throughout the book and finish several pages in one time. This was the same place as the place where I done the foxgloves. And it was a lake. Um, behind here, there were cows walking. And here were all kind of wildflowers, geraniums, violas clovers so that's something i have to add this page isn't finished as well so here the story continues about the people coming up and what i've done this book is almost uh, finished uh, you see it's still not that many pages anymore i've also a book uh, where i'm just doing portraits so I, when i'm uh, discovering that i'm the portraits are coming out. I go immediately to the other book and do the portraits there, but I can't help that there's still some portraits in this, this book as well. And these are all things coming from the inside. So you see, there are all things coming up. I'm working from my intuition. So I don't know on forehand what will be happening on a page. So here's an hourglass with a face in it, uh, her eyes still watching that glass. Well, I've been to the uh, thrift shop and I find all kinds of, um, yeah, embroidery. And this is a layered page. Also the text, it's in Dutch, but it's about the layers you have inside. You are sometimes connected with many layers inside of you. So she is really standing underneath the layers so there's a lot happening on these pages and also it's about uh, unraveling things and overlapping things creating something new from old pieces of fabric and threads I'm going on with that on the next page. You see some of my fabrics are continuing like these and these, and now they are not overlapping anymore. And there are all kinds of things happening, like someone standing in a doorway, two people, well, maybe running away or maybe just looking for shelter. I don't know which what this all means, but, it's coming off from within and I feel it's kind of a magical world that I discovered, rediscovered. Leaves or maybe four leaf clovers as I found a lot of those here in France. Uh, this page, I'm not sure uh, whether it's finished or not, but I really love the pieces of fabric that I used for it. And another page. And there's another face on the knee. So everywhere are faces and um, this one well this is one of my last pages that i've been working on it's not finished yet and well this is kind of where i am right now so we just um shoot at the workshop uh, for art my new art journaling workshop and it's about treasures about discoveries things you find in nature I'm not going to show you that page yet, but 
if you stay tuned and you turn on your notification bell, you will see the video as soon as we release that class. I hope you enjoyed this video and please give it a thumbs up and I see you next time. Bye bye.